guys, so today's video is going to be a clothing haul. I just recently made a Hugh Pengus order off of Urban Outfitters. Free people, Forever 21, and I think that's it. I do have one thing from Fashion Nova. I'll get into that. I don't know, those are usually the places I always shop at. I mean, you guys know, Forever 21 comes in strong. That's number one. But if I'm not shopping at Forever 21, I'm usually always shopping at Urban Outfitters. Misguided, that's another place. Topshop, ASOS, and Free People, mostly. I like those stores because a lot of them have a petite section. Forever 21 does not. Which you guys have heard me complain about in like every haul. Which by the way, I usually film my clothing hauls in my bedroom, but Danny's actually sleeping at the moment, so I couldn't film that right now. But anyway, I got a bunch of stuff. I really, okay, I really wanna try to up my Instagram game. I feel like I suck at Instagram, and I do. I'm not really good at themes with layouts. I'm just, I'm really bad at social media, guys. I really wanna post like more outfit pictures, just show you guys, there's something I'm not. Just show you guys more of my style, more of me. So I'm just gonna show you all the stuff I got. I'm not gonna go in any order. I'm just gonna pick up and show it to you, and I'll show you where I got it and all of that. I kind of feel like I have like 10 different women living in my body, like 10 different women with 10 completely different styles living in my mind. <laughs> so honestly, my style is all about how I'm feeling that day. But anyway, most of the things I got were really casual, laid back, especially for summer. The least amount of clothes I have to wear in the summer, the better. <laughs> but yeah, I got some accessories, a couple shoes too. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so I got this like jumpsuit situation from Free People and it's really really thin fabric This is the pattern. It's one of those like giant parachute looking pants I don't think they're called parachute pants. They're like the hammer time pants They're kind of diapery where they come down really low and they're very very wide, but I love it It's so comfortable. It just slips right on. This is the most breeziest outfit in the world If you live in a very hot climate, this is something I think you would really like It's perfect to just throw on top of your bathing suit or like to just wear out to brunch. I am very much into this guy and I love the color. I love the pattern. This would look so stunning with just summery fresh makeup. Oh, love it. I don't love how expensive free people is though. Like it's almost embarrassing to say how expensive this freaking thing was. Okay, so I got this little guy at Forever 21. They're like these incredibly amazing, comfortable gray shorts. By the way, I'm gonna link everything down below. If I can find everything, I will link it. If it's not linked, I couldn't find it. And then I got this little matching top to wear with it. It's like little set. It's so comfortable, guys. Like seriously, the most comfortable thing in the world. And this does show my stomach a little bit, which I usually don't like. I hate showing my stomach, but it's not too much. And I just find the material to be very, very comfortable that I do not care. I got the shorts in a size. Oh no, I did not get this from Forever 21. I got this from Urban Outfitters, okay. Urban Outfitters. I got the shorts in a small, and I also got the top in a small, but I kind of feel like I could use an extra small on the top. My mind got no boobs. But I love this, it's so comfy. I got these pants off of Urban Outfitters and I've been wanting camel pants for a really long time. The ones that are like baggy like this that scrunch up at the bottom. But these are big on me, um, which is weird because it's a size two. I'm usually a size two or a four, but they do feel a little bit baggy. So if you're interested in these, just keep that in mind. You might want to get a size smaller, but I really, really like them and I kind of want to find a way to use them. Okay, so I got this at Forever 21. That's why I was confused because this is also like a shorts and a top situation. This one is a little bit more like springy, fresh. That other one has like really thick material, but I love the color of this. It's kind of like a silvery olive. It is so, so pretty. And I love these little button down tops. And I really, really love these shorts because of these little ruffles on the bottom. I like how these fit. Usually I hate little shorts like this because they just write up and then you see your butt all the time everywhere. But these kind of like cup your butt and nothing falls out. So I really, really like it. By the way, all of these clothes are totally wrinkled because I had them just like thrown in a box waiting for me to film this video. So of course I didn't iron anything, but that's okay. You guys don't mind, right? But anyway, I got both of these in a size small and it was so affordable. This would be perfect with like little kids and a bicycle. Okay, I got this dress off of Forever 21, and I really have been loving how Boho Forever 21 has gotten. I feel like they've gotten so many cute dresses and outfits that I wouldn't have expected them to come out with. I kind of feel like they're releasing free people type of clothes. Like, I posted this picture on Instagram the other day, and I could have sworn that I had bought that dress off of free people, but when I went to go check my email, it turns out I had bought it off of Forever 21, and it was just so flowy and yummy, and the material felt really nice. So they've been coming out with a lot of those kind of Boho dresses with that type of material and stuff. So I got this dress just because I really loved the color on it but I'm not crazy about it when I put it on just because I feel like my boob area looks weird like I definitely have to wear this without a bra probably with like the sticky tape or the sticky boobs because it does show a little bit more so your bra will come out but I just really love this color and I feel like maybe if I style it up the right way with a cute little hairstyle cute little makeup like this would be the cutest little rustic summertime dress I don't know like I look at it and I don't love it but then I'm like oh man I could do some really pretty makeup with this outfit <laughs> 
But what I was telling you, look how cute this is. This is another outfit from Forever 21. Where's the top? But these are the pants. They're like those, man, what are these pants called? They're not palazzo pants, right? I don't know, you know, like these big flowy, like beachy pants. This material is so beachy and tropically. I'm obsessed with this material, whatever it is, I love it. And it comes with like a little smocked tube top that I cannot find. Oh yeah, here it is. Comes with a little tube top like this and it looks so pretty on. I even got it in another color. I posted a picture on Instagram as well. It was like a really pretty coral peach and I wore it to like an influencer oh, for lunch the other day and it was so Comfortable so perfect for summertime because the pants have a slit on them So the breeze comes in really really nicely. So if you ever have calorcha You will with these pants. This is just a regular little gray long sleeve shirt I got this at Urban Outfitters. It's an extra small Um, it's just like a little gray shirt, but for some reason these little flames on the arms. I'm obsessed with it <laughs> My dad is a really really big Harley Davidson fan. He used to have a Harley Davidson before he almost died on it. He's really into Harleys. He likes motorcycles, but he's like a Harley Davidson freak. And I don't know, I saw this shirt and he reminded me of my dad. It reminded me of, <laughs> reminded me of his Harley. And I was like, man, I really want that. <laughs> Random little shirt that I got at Urban Outfitters, but I freaking love. I got a black bandana off of Forever 21 because I think that little black bandana look around your neck, the cutest thing ever. They do it with like the red bandanas too. I have a fat neck. I don't know if this is gonna work, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Where people have like the little thing. Not like this. I look stupid. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm joking myself. This is my favorite thing in the whole entire haul. Okay, I have an obsession with tassels. This little thing. I don't know. I love anything that it has this attached. My purse that I wear every single day has like two big black ones hanging off of it. I have so many pieces of clothing that have these little things. And then I saw this at Free People. And it's a one size fits all. It's one of those like, you know, drapey fabrics. <laughs> that make you feel like you're just walking in a desert. Oh, I love this thing and it's so comfortable and so silky. I love these things because it makes me feel like I have magical powers. Like I have a crystal ball and I'm gonna tell you your future and I'm gonna be the one that's gonna make you meet your soulmate. You know, like that's, that's how I feel. I feel powerful in these things. All you have to do is throw on like some leggings and a tank top and then throw this on and you're ready to start saging your house. And I also love the pattern. It just reminds me of like old school vintage back in the day. Like a pattern somebody in the 20s would wear. 20s, I, I just thought of a number, I don't know. I got a couple more little tops from Forever 21. How cute is this shirt? I love the colors of this shirt. I like little tops like this that have the collar and the tie here at the front because they're usually a little bit cropped, but not too cropped. So I like wearing them with high-waisted jeans and just having like a lot of jewelry stacks and hoops. I just think it looks really, really cute. It's very casual, but really cute at the same time. And I just love how this navy blue looks with this green. And for some reason, all I can do is picture myself wearing Kale Polish Tropicana on my nails, this on my body, and Hiv on my lips. I'm gonna save the shoes and the jewelry and all that stuff to the end of the video. But I also got this little top from Forever 21. I love anything off the shoulders. I really, really do. And at first when I tried this on, I was like, dude, this is huge on me. But you really have to like tie the little tie at the front really tightly because if not, it would just slip right off of you. This is a size small and I feel like it fits me fine everywhere else. I just really have to make sure this little thing is tied good. But with a little bit of ironing, obviously, because this is a very wrinkled shirt, I think this would look so cute with a little pair of shorts, little kids your hair up in a bun. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, I got these pants off of Anthropology. That's another place I like to shop at sometimes. You really have to look in that store. Sometimes it's a bit much and Anthropology is very expensive. So I really have to love something. I found these pants and I just loved the print on them. It reminded me of two nail polishes from my last year's summer collection. And I was like, I need that. I need those pants. Maybe to wear those two colors on my nails while I wear these pants. Maybe, I don't know. You know I'm matchy-matchy that way. But anyway, I got really excited when I saw these pants because they had them for tall women and they, had, and they also had them for petite women. I'm so glad they had the option and look at them, how pretty. They go really wide at the bottom. They're like bell bottoms. This would also look stunning with hev on the lips. <gasps> Okay, so I got one thing off of Fashion Nova. I recently went to this big Ofra rebranding party that they had, and I went with Danny and my sister, and when my sister got out of the car, like, she met us there, I was like, oh, I'm obsessed with your cardigan thing. Where did you get it? And she was like, oh my gosh, Fashion Nova. And a little part of me kind of rolled my eyes a little bit, because I'm not a huge fan of Fashion Nova, but I went online and I bought it immediately because I loved it so much. It, this is so 80s, this is so Pat Benatar right now. How cute is this? Fun little fact if you guys did not know, I'm obsessed with anything that has pearls on them. I have a denim jacket that I'm obsessed with that has pearls all over it here at the top, but I can only wear it with a bun because when my hair is down, my hair gets caught in the pearls. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the case with this, isn't it? 
don't know, we'll see. But it looked so beautiful on my sister. She was wearing like a black skirt and a little black top with this just draped over her and she looked gorgeous. Like I love it. It's so different. I don't know, it looked so gorgeous on her. Like I cannot, I cannot. I'm obsessed. But anyway, if you guys are wondering, I'm not a huge fan of Fashion Nova because in my opinion, I feel like they, <laughs> I don't like being mean, but I kind of feel like they only care about the influencers that work with them. They only care about the people promoting them. I feel like they dedicate a lot of their time and effort to pleasing those people, which is okay and, and that's good, but I feel like their customer service is lacking like a lot. And there are so many times where I buy things off of their website and then a week later I'll get an email saying, oh, just kidding, the thing you purchased is no longer in stock, so here's a gift card. And it's like, why do you let me buy something you don't have in stock then? Why? But whatever, I'll still purchase from them if I find something on their website that I like and that I think is cute, I'll still buy it. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that these little shirts are back in style. I love things like this that like come up, what are these called? Halter tops, yes! I am so excited that halter tops are back. I used to live in halter tops, I loved them as a kid. I just feel like they're so like sporty but cute too, mm, I just love it. And I love this one, it's such a pretty color. I got another trapo. I got another large trapo, and I love this one because this one is extra long, but not too long to where I'm stepping on it, which is amazing. It's just like the perfect length, and I honestly purchased this so that I could wear it all summer. You can expect to see this on my body all summer, because it's honestly the perfect thing to just throw on top of your bathing suit whenever you're wearing a bathing suit and you don't want to feel naked. I'm not crazy about the print, like, something about this print reminds me of, I don't know, Key West, 2005 Key West. <laughs> I don't know. But I bought it because of how comfortable it is, how long it is, and I just, I love the color a lot. I just, I'm not crazy about the pattern, but, oh, this is everything. Okay, so this shirt is very, very casual and kind of boring, but I love the color so much, and I really like what it says. This is a shirt from Urban Outfitters, and it's this really pretty teal color, but I really like the shirt. It says, Seek Within, which, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Seek within, always seek within. If there's something you're looking for, seek within. Okay, so those were all the clothing pieces. Now I can show you guys the accessories I got and some shoes for accessories. I honestly only got two things. I got these earrings from Forever 21. I love them because they look like um, the horns, like the little, you know, those horns. And they have this little black pearl looking thing at the top and it looks really cool on. I love hoops. I love anything that resembles a hoop. If I can wear one style of earring for the rest of my life, it would be hoops. Which is also why I got this from Forever 21. I like buying hoops off of Forever 21 and little studs and gold things like this because Forever 21 jewelry is fake and it turns black really fast, really easily. But it's so incredibly cheap because it's fake. So this was $6.90 and now I'll have these really good little gold hoops for about two months before I have to buy another one. And I go through these freaking little gold earrings like it's nobody's business. I wear, oh, I'm not wearing earrings, oh my gosh. My mom would kill me right now, I'm sorry mom. I got these sunglasses off of Urban Outfitters. I am so happy with these sunglasses because I have been wanting retro looking sunglasses for a really long time, like the, uh, you know, like the cat style sunglasses. And I bought those really popular ones from Les Specs. I believe that's the name of the brand, Les Specs. They're the black ones. I look so stupid in those glasses. My face shape, it, no. I have a really big dome. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I have a five head and I need bigger glasses. So when I saw these online, I'm like, oh, they're probably gonna look awful on me. But I took the risk and I ordered them online and I'm so happy because I really love them, especially the color. I have been wanting retro red glasses forever. Like this is me in a pair of glasses. Like if I could describe myself in one pair of sunglasses, it would be these. I'm obsessed with them. I don't think that this style of glasses really fits my face shape, but it looks a lot better than those damn Les Specs ones. And they were a lot cheaper as well. I don't really know this brand, but it's called Crap Eyewear. Yes, crap. And when you open the thing, it says, don't worry, be crappy. So what kind of started this whole haul to begin with was a little DM from my sister and she linked this hat to me off of Urban Outfitters. She was like, this is so you, you would love this hat. And um, yeah, I do, yeah, I do. This is so cute to like wear backwards. I'm like, Ugh. am I Alex Mack right now or am I Alex Mack? If you have no idea who Alex Mack is, I'm too old. I'm obsessed with these little purses. I think I got this um, at Forever 21. No, nope, Urban Outfitters, damn it. But I love it. This is the cutest little beach purse. Like if you're going to the beach, perfect purse, throw your crap in. How cute is this? I just think it's so pretty and I love that it's black because I usually see these purses like in brown, but I really like this color and I just think it's so cute. Obviously with the right outfit, it would look really cute. It kind of just reminds me of Cuba. I feel like a lot of people make these kinds of purses in Cuba. 
Oh my gosh, I got these sandals off of Forever 21 because they reminded me so much of the new Tory Burch sandals. I'm gonna put a picture of them up right here. They are so cute. I have been wanting the pink ones so bad, but I saw these on Forever 21 and I was like, those are kind of similar. I really, really like them. I'm obsessed with yellow, as you guys know, but I love these little bows. Like, if you have a really boring outfit and you want to kick it up a notch, these sandals are perfect. And they're just so cute. They're really springy as well, like little picnic sandals. I really, really love them, and they're really comfortable too. And then I got these heels off of Urban Outfitters. These are just little heels, like... <sighs> I thought I got my lipstick on this. That would have been bad. Ow. I got them mainly for the color. I just love this little dusty pink shade. These heels just remind me of like Stepford Wives. Like back in the day, I seriously love pointy toed shoes. Well, so they are a little bit big on me. I got them in a size six. I'm usually a five and a half, um, but they didn't have five and a half, so I got six. Okay, and then the last thing I got is not fashion. It's just a little planter pot that I got from Urban Outfitters. It's a, it's called the Happy Daisy. Look. I'm so obsessed with this, guys. Honestly, I saw this on the website and I was like, oh, I feel like that was made for me, yes. And I bought it to put my little aloe vera plant in here. I have an aloe vera plant sitting in my bathroom and it's in a really ugly black little planter. So I got this one to put it in. Can't wait, I'm obsessed. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. These were all the clothing items I recently hauled. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I kind of find a want and I kind of want a want and I kind of want... What?